square root of a rational perfect square. We're asked to simplify and the radical has a fraction underneath it. Now to simplify we can take out perfect squares from the radical. However, this expression doesn't appear to have any perfect squares. 20 is not a perfect square, neither is 125. But that fraction can be simplified. So the 20 over 125, we should go ahead and try to simplify it. If there's something that divides evenly into both of them, and in this case there is, both 20 and 125 are both divisible by 5. So we can simplify our radical 20 divided by 5 and the top is 4 and 125 divided by 5 and the bottom is 25 so now we can simplify this radical simplifying we can take the square root of the top and divide by the square root of the bottom so it just shows that I'm taking the square root of each one separately well, looking over at 4, 2 squared is 4, so the square root of 4 is 2, going in the opposite direction. And the square root of 25, since 5 squared is 25, the square root of 25 is 5, again going in the other direction. So remembering these perfect squares that I had listed over here on the right hand side is really the key because for each one of them I can go backwards by saying the square root of the one on the right hand side is the number on the left. So the square root of 49 is 7. Once you've memorized them one way you should have access to them to get the square roots of those perfect squares on the right hand side. We've simplified our fraction and it is in simplest form.